Today I'm going to teach you how to make ginger scallion lobster noodles in the comfort of your own home. Chinese style. Hey guys, what's up? I'm actually in Perth today. It's Chinese New Year, so I thought let's make some lobster noodles. We're actually making ginger and short lobster noodles. We've got three lobsters today. Look at this. Fresh Australian lobsters. These are actually Australian rock lobsters. You see the difference between an Australian rock lobster and American lobster is that they don't actually have claws. It's pretty cool, right? But it's got a really sharp and spiny shell. That's the difference between an Australian lobster and American lobster. Look at all that beautiful flesh. Okay, so before we actually start cooking, I actually want to tell you guys something first. In order to cook good Chinese food at home, you actually have to prepare everything. We have the scallions all chopped up, gingers all finely sliced, garlic's all ready, and we have all of our like pepper, sugar, you know, everything is set on one side. The chicken stock is nice and hot, so when you pour it over the lobster, you're not waiting too long for it to boil. We've got our water boiling in the background, and we've got our wok in the center. Okay, so now we can start cooking. Let me show you how to cut the lobster. When I cook at home for the lobsters, I have two knives. One's a sharp pointy one, and one's a cleaver to chop through the shell. We do a little cut around the edge of the lobster. That way we can separate the head from the tail. Look at that. Fresh Australian lobster. So all you do with the cleaver is you go between the head and the legs, right? Straight through here. Only halfway, right? Okay, now you pry. While this knife is holding onto the legs, you're pulling it apart to separate the head from the legs. Down the middle. Chop it in half. Okay, now this. Nice little cut. Yeah, there we go, now we remove all of that. You don't want any of the stuff. This, we put it aside. We're gonna cook with this. Okay, scrape all that, we're gonna put this in the bin. With a big lobster, you'd cut this in half, but because this is so small, I don't, I don't think there's a point. So we trim up the legs, we trim up, cut off its toe, cut off its toe handles. We don't need this. Get rid of that, that's flying everywhere. Throw it aside, same with this one. Cut off his toenails. You don't need this as well, there's no meat in here. This is missing an antenna. I wouldn't buy this lobster, but my mum bought this, so it is what it is. Just to even it out, I guess you would cut off this antenna as well. Just so it's nice and neat. This head, it can't stand. How Chinese restaurants, Japanese restaurants, how they make it stand, is they use a pair of scissors. Alright, I'll show you this. Grab a pair of scissors. You see this bit down here? This bit down here, this needs to be flat. Because it's curved, it can't stand, right? We need to flatten it so they can stand up. With your scissors, you just run along here on the side, cut off this little corner, cut off this little corner. That way it's flat, you see that? That's nice and flat. And that way, it will stand up straight. Look at that, that how pretty is that on your plate, right? You serve the noodles, you serve the lobster, ginger shallots, everything all around, you've got the head standing in the middle. Beautiful, centerpiece of the table. When I'm cooking lobster, this hand, this right hand, it never gets dirty, right? It never leaves the knife. Only when you pick up the scissors or when you pick up the other knife, your knife never gets dirty, your right hand never gets dirty. It's only your left hand. Your left hand gets wet, always have a dry towel, wipe your knife, clean it, chopping board, you know, all around, give it a wipe, tidy it up, you know, make sure it's nice and clean. A clean bench is very easy to work with. Now we're gonna cut the lobster tails. This is nice and easy. What you want to do first is cut off these spikes because you don't want to cut your mouth when you're eating. Look, if you're scared to do that... Cut off all these spikes. Use your scissors, cut through the middle. Break the shell. In half. What I like to do is I like to keep it on the tail because now you can cut two pieces at the same time. In between these spikes is where you cut. Straight down here. You want to chop? Every two, two you should cut, make a cut. Okay, now we have the tail and we have the meat. One lobster you should have six to eight pieces depending on how big your lobster is. So actually this time I didn't buy the lobster. 
if I were to buy this lobster, I wouldn't buy three lobsters, right? I wouldn't buy three, three little crayfish because you lose out a lot on the head. The head's very heavy, okay? When you buy three lobsters, you actually lose out on a lot of meat. So each lobster, you, you can yield about 20% of meat. So the bigger the lobster, you actually get more value per dollar. What I usually like to get is between a 1.2 kilo and 1.5 kilo. Not because of taste or anything. I think the small lobsters are sweeter, right? But the reason why I get a smaller lobster is because at home, your wok is probably about this size, right? You're not going to have a bigger wok. If you have a bigger wok, your fire is not going to cook it. You don't have the fire to cook it at home. For a lobster to fit in this wok, you need something that's 1.2 to 1.5. Anything bigger is going to be really hard to cook. One lobster that's about 1.5 kilos, we're going to have about the same amount of meat as three lobsters that are six, 700 grams. We've got lobster noodles straight into the water. Make sure you have enough water because if you don't have enough water, your noodles is... It's gonna be all soggy. It's not gonna be al dente. It cooks really fast. One minute and the noodles is ready. Look at this. We just threw it in and it's already soft. You gotta be quick with this. You gotta have everything prepared, everything ready. Because once this noodle is ready, we've gotta tip it out straight into the sink. <laughs> the sink. We're gonna tip it out straight into the colander and we're gonna run it under cold water. Really fast. This noodle's been cooking for one minute already. We're gonna take it off the heat. Straight into the sink. Into a colander. We're gonna leave a little bit of hot water for later. Now your noodles, run it through cold water. In Chinese, this is called gou lang ho. When you, when you run it through cold water, it makes the noodles springy and elastic. Stop it from cooking. And we're gonna leave it aside. We're gonna put it here, leave it aside. I don't care how hot your fire is at home, full power. Always full power. At home, cooking lobsters, it has to be full power. I'm using vegetable oil. One third of the wok filled, that should be enough of oil. I'm gonna bring this oil to about 180 degrees before we throw the lobster in there. In your boiling water, you throw the lobster heads in there. Lobster heads cooked, we take it out. This one's got a nice long antenna, we're gonna put it in the middle. One, two, third one. Got the three lobster heads. This looks, this looks powerful. This looks like how a restaurant would serve it, right? Normally in a restaurant, they would just throw it in the oil and fry it. But because you're at home, it's easier to just throw it into the hot water from the noodles, right? Or else you're gonna have oil splatter everywhere. It's gonna get too messy. Now we're ready. Let's cook the lobster. Put a little bit of cornstarch, just to coat it, right? Give it a toss. Because that soaks up the remaining of the water. When you fry it, it's not going to splash everywhere. Well, actually, it's still going to splash, but a little bit less. It keeps the meat of the lobster more tender and juicy. Put it all in. See what I mean? When you cook at home, if you have a bigger lobster, it's not going to fit in this wok. It's going to be very hard to cook. You're not going to get restaurant quality. Once it's not translucent, the meat is ready. Because you're still gonna cook it in the sauce for a little bit. We're gonna cook this up to about 80%. So I'd say about two, three minutes on the wok, and we're ready to pull it out. Look, these small pieces, these small pieces are ready. Everything's all ready. You don't wanna overcook the lobster. This cooks so fast, and especially if you're at home, you're not moving fast enough, you're not prepped enough, it's just gonna get messy. You wanna pull it out the oil. But it doesn't matter if there's a little bit of oil in there, you're just gonna pull it out. My fire's pretty big. I cooked it for about two minutes, two minutes in the wok, and I pulled it out straight away because the residual heat is gonna keep cooking the lobster. Now, a lot of people ask me, what the hell do you do with the remaining of the oil? You don't want to throw this away. For Chinese New Year, you have a lot of dishes to cook, right? This is going to be your main event. This oil, you can use it to cook prawns and other any other seafood. This oil is still really clean, but it's a little bit fishy, right? We're going to use it for prawns and all that sort of stuff. Any other shellfish that you need to cook, you're going to use this oil. This is what we call a yao bowl, oil pot, right? You put this, you strain it, 
That way you don't have to throw away so much oil, you know? Like at home, you want to save it. You don't want to throw oil all the time. This oil, you can still use it for like a day or two for seafood. It's quite smelly, so don't use it too many times. Use it once more and throw it away. Okay, we put that aside. Now, we don't need to wash this wok. That's got the oil in there. That's got a little bit of lobster flavor in there. We don't need to wash it. We just turn the fire straight back on, on high, absolute high setting. Okay, now this is why I prep everything. We've got our ginger. I'm just using a little bit of ginger. Throw ginger in there. Garlic. The white parts of the scallion, all in the wok. Fry that up. When I'm cooking at home, I don't, I don't keep doing this. When you do this, you lose heat. You do it in a restaurant because it's hot enough, right? When you're at home, try to keep it on the fire. Keep it on the fire will give you enough heat. You'll get that wok, hey, like a Chinese restaurant. Fry it out. You don't need to do like fancy moves. You just use your spoon, give it a nice stir. Man, that flavor, ginger scallion and garlic, that flavor, unbeatable, absolutely unbeatable. We're gonna add our lobster back. So see all that oil, we just pour it in there. It doesn't matter. That's all flavor. Now I give it a toss. Mix it around. You see how it's still cooking? This is why you need this stock to be nice and hot. You want to overcook the lobster. Ladle this stock over. You see straight away you go in there, it's already boiling. Ladle as much sauce as you need. I'm putting about four or five. We have a lot of noodles. Four or five ladles of stock. In with a little bit of white pepper. Little bit of sugar. With a little bit of yum yum. Chinese cooking wine. You have to put Chinese cooking wine. So we've got to move fast because your lobster's going to overcook, you know? We've got to be quick. Chinese cooking wine, we've got sesame oil. This is potato slice slurry. I'm going to add that in there. Add that in there and stir. If you don't stir, that's going to thicken up and you're going to have chunks in there. You're going to have chunks of sauce. Add it in slowly, a little bit more. You've got to eyeball this one, I don't have measurements for you. You know, it depends on how much stock, how much sauce you want to make. Right, look at that, that's nice and thick. That's already almost ready. Right, a little bit more. Okay, not too thick. If you make it a little bit too thick, what your stock here is for. You can pour a little bit of stock in there and loosen it. Right? That's ready. Turn off the heat, that's ready. We're going to use our water over our noodles. Remember, we washed it with cold water. Now you're going to pour the hot water over the noodles. This is home cooking technique, it's fast. Now your noodles are hot. Strain off the noodles, and we're gonna put it around the lobster. Okay, you're gonna put it around the lo oh my God, what am I doing? I'm knocking over everything. Look at that, the noodles are still steaming hot, okay? That's why I kept the water and you poured it over the top, or else you're gonna have cold noodles when you cook at home. Okay, gotta be fast with this, alright? This is the long part. Oh, how am I gonna do this? Let's do it this way. Ready? Spoon it on there slowly. Don't make a big mess at home, you know? You wanna cook. Nice actually, the spoon. The spoon is useless, get rid of it. Let's use the tongs. Put it around, right? This is the centerpiece to your table. You gotta make it nice and beautiful, right? That's why we've got the head standing up, you know, we're making it nice and beautiful. You know, put a tail here, put some meat, put, put it everywhere, put it all around, you know what I mean? So, do it slowly, take your time, you know, plate it out, because this is lobster, this is, this is not something you eat every day, I mean, unless you're me. <laughs> yeah, you know, this is not something you eat every day, you know what I mean? Like, plate it nicely, you know, make it nice for your family, because this is exactly how the restaurant does it. This is how, I've had, I've had a restaurant for the last six years and another restaurant before that. This is exactly how we do it in the restaurant. The only difference is we cook faster in a restaurant, you know, that's, that's the only difference. Okay, put one piece everywhere, make it all beautiful. Look at that. Wow, this is, man, I'm, I'm drooling right now. We're gonna pour all around the lobster. Look at that. See, this is why you need to have enough sauce. If you don't have enough sauce, your noodles are not gonna be nice. Right? 
Look at that, beautiful. Well done. I got everything all prepared. My garnish. Scallions and, or green onions, whatever you want to call it, spring onions and coriander, right? We're going to sprinkle this all around, make it rain, right? Plate it, plate it, you know, loosely. Look, look how beautiful that is. Look at that. Beautiful. Home-cooked long ha yimi, ginger scallion lobster. Man, nothing beats that. You make a restaurant quality dish in the comfort of your own home, right? You serve that. Look, can you tell me? Can you tell me this is home cooked or if this is restaurant quality? Man, this is so good. <laughs> I am shaking. Hey, mom. What do you think? Whoa. <laughs> is this restaurant quality or what? You bet it is. <laughs> yeah, I reckon it's pretty good. You know, like to cook at home and to have it this quality, this beautiful. And we get to eat at home as well, you know what I mean? Like, they bring this over to our boss house, it's gonna be really good. Do you reckon the rest of the guys are gonna be impressed? Can I start now? <laughs> okay, thanks, Bob. You can get out of my video. <laughs> I'm bringing this over to my grandma's house. I told her this year for Chinese New Year, I'm cooking lobster noodles. And let's see what everyone else says. Thank you so much, guys, for watching my video. I really appreciate the support. If you guys can give me a like and subscribe, it would mean the world. Thank you. Happy Chinese New Year. Gong Hei Fa Choi. Hong Bao Na Lai.